Wikipedia, this is interesting. I think, I think they got a lot of it right. How Lindsay cited an increase in the frequency of famines, wars, earthquakes. Now remember, the book came out in 1970, the film in 1978. How Lindsay cited an increase in the frequency of famines, wars, and earthquakes as major events just prior to the end of the world. He also foretold a Soviet invasion of Israel, the War of Gog and Magog, right? Ezekiel 38, 39. Lindsay also predicted the European economic community, which preceded the European Union, was destined, according to Bible prophecy, to become a United States of Europe, which in turn, he says, is destined to become a revived Roman Empire ruled by the Antichrist. Lindsay wrote that he had concluded since there was no apparent mention of America in the books of Daniel or Revelation, that America would not be a major geopolitical power by the time the tribulations of the end times arrived. He found little in the Bible that could represent the U.S., but he suggested that Ezekiel 38, 13 could be speaking of the U.S. in part. Joining me now is Dr. Andy Woods. Dr. Woods, welcome to the broadcast. Thanks for being with us. Brandon, good to be here. Thanks for having me. You too. Happy Thanksgiving. Thank you. Same so to you. When did you become acquainted with Hal Lindsey, Dr. Woods? Um, it would be around the year 1989, 1990. You know, I just graduated from college, political science degree, had a great interest in politics. At that time, I was a Christian, but I had never really given much attention or time to the study of eschatology. And it was one of those times where, you know, I was kind of trying to figure out what I'm going to do with my life. And and I remember my brother, um, who was a youth pastor at the time, said there's some young adults at a little Baptist church uh, that would like to have a home, ha have a, kind of a Bible study. So I agreed to help them teach that for a month or so. And um, they asked me, could I talk on the end times? And I really didn't know anything about the end times. So I went down to the uh, local Christian uh, bookstore there in Long Beach, and I found Hal Lindsey's book, The Late Great Planet Earth. I read it from cover to cover, and from that point on, I was hooked. <laughs> I discovered that my primary spiritual gift was teaching. I didn't realize that at the time. I discovered a uh, total uh, love and interest for the prophetic sections of scripture, particularly the way Lindsay, you know, laid the whole thing out. And then from there, I sort of graduated to another book that was a deeper book by J. Dwight Pentecost called Things to Come. And that was his doctoral dissertation, uh, really sy systematizing the whole end times, uh, everything the Bible has to say about the future. And I just became hooked. And I, at that point, had a desire to pursue ministry um, decided to attend Dallas Seminary, even though I was going through law school at the time. Made it through law school, passed the bar, uh, met my wife, but ended up uprooting uh, the two of us from California and going to Dallas Seminary to study under people like John Walvoord, uh, uh, Dr. Pentecost, Dr. Toussaint, uh, etc. And it really just changed the whole course of my life. And I'd have to say that the seed that was planted was that initial um, reading that I had done all the way back in 1989, 1990, you know, the late great planet Earth. I mean, Lindsay just put the prophetic case together in a very simple way that I could understand. I was raised uh, Episcopalian, so I really didn't know much about the end times. Certainly our parish didn't cover much of that. But by then, I was evangelical. I was moving off into Bible teaching, and uh, Lindsay um, really just changed the course of my life through that particular book. And then I got involved listening to his media ministries. Uh, I used to listen to him every Saturday morning um, on uh, KKLA 99.5. He had a show that would come on where they would talk about prophecy whenever, whenever he was on TV, TBN, for example, I would I would watch it. So I kind of feel like I know the guy. And even, you know, The Late Great Planet Earth probably isn't even his best book, in my opinion. It's a great book. It's a great starter. But my favorite Hal Lindsey book is The Road to Holocaust, where he kind of lays out the whole um, replacement theology agenda leading to anti-Semitism. And there isn't a day that goes by in my ministry um, here we are all the way in end of 2024 
where I'm not somehow alluding or referring to those subjects. So how Lindsay planted a big seed in my life. And for that, I'm forever grateful. And he, you know, for a fact, he also, I think he had a Bible study in his home in I think the Los Angeles area. And I know people that were part of that uh, and other people who, in, who went on such as yourself to be, uh, have major influence in the evangelical Christian world, the dispensational world. Some of them uh, became Christians through his ministry and or were discipled by him directly or indirectly. Uh, so this guy went on to impact a lot of people who to this day are still influencing a lot of people. Yeah, he had a Bible study at a church in Palos Verdes, California, and he was pastor of a church that he named uh, Tetelestai, a Christian center. Tetelestai is Greek, which means paid in full. I'm now a resident of Houston, but he actually had his uh, initial upbringings out here in Houston under a guy named uh, 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 Bob Thiem, a Bible teaching ministry through uh, Bar- uh, a ministry called Baraka uh, Church. So even today here in the Houston area, I run into people that knew Hal Lindsey when he was very young. Um, in fact, um, she passed away a few years ago, but I had uh, in, in my church a, a lady named Ursula Kemp, who was actually um, a new Hal Lindsey, you know, as, as a youth, uh, young adult, a youth. And so I don't know what it is with Lindsey, but um, his path and my path keep, you know, crossing, even though I've actually never met the person. I know a lot of his disciples, uh, a lot of our people that were connected with at Chafer Seminary, you know, knew him. I knew a lot of people that knew him through Dallas Seminary. Uh, I kn- knew Dr. Pentecost that I think played a ro- role in some kind of ordination for Hal Lindsey into the ministry. And then, of course, I first ran across him in the Southern California area, you know, through his books and media presence. And it's true, I never attended, but he did have a church called Telestai Christian Center in, I think, Torrance, California. And I think he was leading some kind of Bible study in Palos Verdes, California. Mm. Oh, wow. Well, d- let's talk about the movie, though, uh, the book, 1970, the film, 1978. And, and it, it really did cause the birth of the modern day prophecy, Bible prophecy movement, correct? Yeah, it's like his book came around right at the right time, because uh, 1967, you know, we had the um, Six Day War. Uh, 1973 was the Yom Kippur War. Israel, of course, had already become a nation again, 1948. So that issue was hot. I mean, everybody wanted to know what that was about, uh, what was the significance of it. And right into the mix comes Hal Lindsey's book, uh, able to take, which I think is his basic gift, complex spiritual matters and, and break them down uh, so easy that a, that a novice or a, a, a newbie, you know, uh, can understand. And that's what Hal Lindsey's book did, and that's why it sold, you know, so well. You were talking about how well it sold at the top of the show. And um, a lot of people either got saved through that book or a lot of people, like myself, for example, already saved – um, started to discover our spiritual gifts, our spiritual calling, our calling into the ministry, our calling into a deeper walk of discipleship with the Lord, our calling to seek out educational opportunities to get to know the scripture better. But a lot of those seeds were planted through that that book, The Late Great Planet Earth. I would say other than the Bible itself, I can't think of a book that's had more of a worldwide influence, you know, than The Late Great Planet Earth. 